Hey everyone, so today I'm, I am with the car of a subscriber so we are we have an Audi S3 Berlin Quattro of 2021 with the fuel engine of 2 liters 4 cylinders turbo so TFSI which gives us 310 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque we have an S-Tronic 7 speed gear system and we have in terms of performance a 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds for a weight of 1.5 tons so this car has a, a black pack so we have for example just to show you we have this part here of the chassis which is also in black we have the line of the windows that are already um, that are also in black we have for example for this line right here we are also in black with this one we have here a fake um, intake on this side but on the other side it's going to be a real air intake we also have this single frame uh, grill which is uh, very nice and as it is with the uh, black pack we also have um, this part here which is also in black and same for here so we are in a very nice vehicle with this um, specific pack and here as you can see we have this um, this uh, real intake right there in terms of light we have the led matrix for the front and standard led lights in the back we have for those very nice wheels we have 18 inches so those are for the winter tires he has uh, another types of wheels for the summer tires it's very nice you know of this uh, like aluminum like uh, black and red I really like the design of of those uh, wheels and then we have a carbon spoiler right here we have the LED lights we have the fake exhaust uh, the fake um, air vents right here and we have also this chrome like this chrome um, pipes we have also this part right here which is also in black that comes with the pack so this car is extremely nice so it's almost full options I don't know all the details about it because um, it's not my car and we have for the trunk space we have I think 425 liters which is also very nice and we can of course give a, give more space if we put them down if we put the, the seats down we are in a 40 20 and 40 configuration on this one then we have for the materials in the back so we have hard plastic we have leather soft plastic with the stitching which is also very nice hard plastic again and we have those full leather the Napa leather for the seats in the front and the back and it's a very nice design I really love those seats they are very nice to see and also to touch in terms of comfort I do find the exterior the the, uh, the rear part of the car very comfortable so we have some space um, right here for the legs we have a little bit less space because of that which is a little bit sad but and overall we have a nice space for the legs we also have this plastic side to give you more room and not you know to be a problem for the uh, driver so i do like the seats how they are done and they are also extremely comfortable we also have the black ceiling very nice and on this limousine i do find that on the opposite of the um, sport back we have a little bit less space for the head for i'm 182 centimeters and it's okay but if you are more than that you might start touching a little bit but otherwise 
it's very very nice and comfortable i do like the design and the space that you have then we have here the two air vents and we have the two usb c ports right here now let's go check in the front what we have so in the front i'm going to have almost the same thing but here we have some soft plastic this aluminum part this leather soft plastic with the stitching and hard plastic again for the seats we'll have of course the same uh, materials in the front which is a very nice design once again and you are very well you know you do not move for your back and also your legs so this is extremely nice we have heated seats we also have the massage option and we have the lumbar support that you can also handle uh, configure with this uh, those seats so we have the usual control right there also to memorize your um, the position of the seats and also for the external um, mirrors and we have the bno uh, bang and olsen sound right there on this one now if we go inside the car i i really like this uh, soft plastic how it's made we also have this stitching right there the inside of the car is quite well i'm gonna say quite luxurious uh, luxurious i do like it you know the design and the feeling it's very also you know comfortable to to see it we have this 3d titanium uh, part we have this aluminum part and we have also this shiny black uh, right here so i do find how they did you know this uh, mixing of uh, materials it's very nice of course this part is um, an option on this one um, it's not uh, standard now we have here the virtual cockpit uh, plus it's a 10.25 inches screen we also have the head-up display right there and we have the multimedia screen uh, right here for the steering wheel we have a so this one is not you know it's a fully round steering wheel here because when you take the car with all the packs you cannot have the you know the plain uh, thing it's um, you you do you will have the round steering wheel if you don't want it you need to select all the different options that you want and then you can select the correct steering wheel if you take the packs you cannot have it uh, you, you will if you select the packs you will have this round steering wheel now we have on the left here to control the screen and on the right to control the voice command and the multimedia system we have right there the adaptive um, cruise control and i don't know if we have the limiter also on this car this maybe we will see now in terms of uh, virtual cockpit I mean, just to show you what you can have uh, the the presentation of the cockpit so we can of course change the view of it you can also change the menus if you want so just to show you what kind of information you can have on the s3 there you go then you have also the bluetooth and you have the phone and you have the navigation system that you can of course also show like that which is very nice not new but very nice to have then you can also change the type of the display so we are here on a um right here the sport display we can have to the s performance and this is what you will get so once again you can select the, the different menus as we have seen before and also change the view and now for the last one we have the dynamic let's switch to this one too and this is how the car presents itself um, like this so this is what you will have so i do find the cockpit plus a very good addition compared to the standard uh, virtual cockpit then you have also if we go in some of the other menus you have the head-up display that you can configure you have the mmi i'm not going to make all of them because well there's a lot of menus on this car the screen is also very nice it's very reactive i do like it then we have what do we have i wanted to show you we still have the car settings 
So you have the OD drive select, for example, and here I'm going to show you efficiency, comfort, auto and dynamic. With the efficiency comes the uh, free wheel system. So if you take your foot off the accelerator pedal, you will, well, you will be free wheeling. Then on the individual, this is what you can uh, choose. Uh, the drive system, the suspension, the steering and the engine sound. Then you have for uh, for example, the efficiency assist. Just going to show you what you can what you can have. Then the seats to control the massages. So you have the wave, need, stretch, and the intensity. Then you have the air conditioning, the light, and vision that you can configure. You have the background lighting. So this one comes with the options with the thirty uh, different uh, colors. And we have the parking aid, so we have and discard the uh, 360 uh, sensors and only the rear camera. There is no option on this car to have a front camera, unfortunately. We have the driver assist, so just to show you some of the sa safety features that you can get with this car, of course, um, there are options. And then you have, well, I guess that's it for the most important part. So you can see here the different uh, features or function of the car. So you have the radio, media, telephone, navigation, phone, car, favorite settings, etc. Then to control the ventilation of the car, this is great because it's still real buttons and it's not on the display itself. This is very nice. So you have the heated seats. You have this two-way button, which is new in this generation. Then from the older generation, they took this. So you have the drive select, ESP, auto start um sorry start and stop the parking sensors and the park assist so you can you know the, the car can park itself automatically we have the wireless charging two usb c ports and here you have for the gear system you have the uh, you know this little thing you don't have the full um you only have the small selector and which is I don't really like it. The only thing I don't really like it about this is that I do find the, the console too low and it seems like something is, is missing. And also you do not have the manual mode. So this one disappeared, but you still have here that you can, you know, switch the gear from here, but still this part disappeared and it feels strange, but well, okay. Then you have these two cup holders. You have the electronic handbrake for the um how do you call the hold assist you you don't have the button right here anymore you have to go somewhere in the menu to configure this part you have these two cup holders and a little space here to put your stuff now for the internal mirror this one is frameless so it's very nice and we also have the um the roof like that so you can open it I, I do find a very nice addition and this part is manual on the a3 uh, so i think i think that's it for the interior and exterior of the car and we're going to take it for a drive just to show you how the car really handles itself okay so now let's make a very little test drive of the car The acceleration of the car is really nice on this one. It's also very comfortable. So the suspensions, we are in sport mode right now. And the suspensions are, you know, just a little bit stiff, but actually not too much, but at least the car is really not moving. So we have a very nice sensation when we are driving. It's also very well isolated for the noise. I'm trying 
not to talk too much so you can hear the noise that the exhausts are making. So I don't know if you actually hear them very much because the car is so well isolated from the outside noise it also affects the uh, sounds the sound of the engine when you're inside the car and also from the um, exhaust pipe that's this is the little uh, you know drawback of this car when you also use the gear shifter right here on the steering wheel the um, the gears they change also very fast so this is very good you don't have any uh, you don't really have any delay when you want to change so this is very good the direction also the steering wheels is, is you know very precise so nothing to say um, about that you really have a nice uh, handling of the car with nice you know sensation just a great car actually there's nothing much to to say about it it's just really great it's comfortable it's you know high standard it's a very car you know for everyday use for a daily drive and also to to have fun it's a very good compromise you know the r3 for example it's very nice I do love it but it's um, you know too much power and the s3 is you know just the right amount of of performance that you can have it's an expensive car of course but at least you have everything that is good the comfort the look the performance the fun the car is extremely fun to drive so I guess it's the end of the review for the car right now, maybe at uh, 0 to 100 of it. But otherwise, it was really a nice test drive of it. I really enjoy this car very, very much. See you.